If you want the gills, we got the skills right here at 302 Fishing. Good evening, guys. We're about ready to get our fish on today. We've got maybe about an hour and a half worth of light here that we're ready to use, and uh, hopefully we can get some decent fish on with this bait that we're getting ready to use right now. Uh, it is not a common bait that most people see, uh, the one I'm getting ready to use, but your, the variants of this bait, a lot of people have seen through decades, guys. I'm talking about almost 100 years, <laughs> 80 years, a little bit over. But 1938 is when Fred Arbogast created the uh, jitterbug. And everybody's grandfather, father, probably you as a young kid still have one in your box too. But uh, it's been around, man. It's been a favorite, man. But he actually made a different bait out of the original bait that he had, which was invented in 1961. And that's the Arbogast Jointed Jitterbug Clicker. That's the bait we're going to be ready to use today. Everybody's used to this right here, that style right here. All he did was added on a little joint to the back. Got some size one hooks. And of course, we got the famous, you know, plop plop noise from the double cup that's on front of that. Guys, all we need to use is a medium retrieve here, nice and slow. And the bait does the rest for you, man. It clicks and clacks and gurgles and rattles. And it drives these fish absolutely insane. It's crazy how he came up with this bait because this was the original bait first, right here. This black part right here without this tail. And one day, I don't know what he was deciding in his mind as to, hey, let's just go ahead and change this bait up a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, pick out two spoons. <laughs> Actual spoons that you eat with. He cut the handles off, welded them together, and put them in front of this bait, guys. And that's how you got that plopping action from that double cup right there in front of it. I thought it was pretty interesting. I was trying to read up a little bit on it. Again, I'm not giving this thing any justice. I'm not giving all, all the true history of it all and everything else, but you kind of get the idea. But this thing is legendary, guys. It has caught many a fish uh, through its decades of use. It catches multi-species, guys. Bass, uh, pickerel, uh, chain pickerel, uh, muskies. All kinds of crazy fish get caught on this bait. Our goal, obviously, is going to be catching bass. We're going to put this on the end of our line. We're going to use a loop knot. We're going to toss a whole bunch of casts out here, guys. And hopefully, if we're lucky, we get some fish on. All right. So... I came to this pond specifically because uh, they're all the ones that we have around our house have nothing but 80,000 pounds of algae all over it. I know this one right here because the wind's blowing around all the time. There's hardly any algae whatsoever on this, even during the midsummer uh, times. Again, it still has a little bit, but not too much. But this is a difficult pond, guys. If we can get one or two fish, man, we are true anglers here <laughs> because this is a heavily pressured pond. And uh, again, my hope is, uh, you know, one of these finicky bass will pick up on this bait. Again, I'm sure they have not seen this bait at all. Uh, they've, sh they've seen Senkos, they've seen chatter baits, they've seen uh, all kinds of nonsense, but have they ever seen a jitterbug here? I doubt it, but let's get this out here. Anybody can use this lure, guys. It really does not take much at all. Again, a nice medium to slow retrieve, and you know you're doing it right when you see that, that bait just wobbling back and forth and making that plopping noise. If you're reeling too fast, it's gonna be coming straight at you and the cupping action is not doing anything at all. That's the big old blade that's on the front of the bait. And again, with that rattle and that tail waggling all around, man, something's gotta hit this thing. We'll cast out here before I get brave over here guys <laughs> but we're in a shallow end right now we'll just see if there's any creeping around here I think most of our potential is going to be down on the other end where we got a little bit more deeper water and these fish are willing to ch uh, chase from uh, the, the deep into the shallows right now it's I'd say about 70 degrees man the temperature is just right guys it's not hot at all man it's nice and comfortable Got a nice looking sun shining, man. A little bit of cloud cover. But I love these baits, man, because you never know when you're gonna get a blow up way out here or literally right at your feet. <laughs> That's what's fun about these baits, man. Yeah. 
This bait does have great cast ability, man. It goes a distance, guys. So if you want to haul it out there, <laughs> 700 feet, you can do that. Um, I don't know how strong or how sharp these hooks are. These are stock hooks that are right on here. Uh, I haven't had a chance to go ahead and try to change them up. But uh, we'll see uh, how the fish stay on this bait once we uh, get a blow up here. But the action is just ridiculous on this thing. Man, I thought fish be right by that, man, but I guess not. <laughs> All right, so the method's gonna be, guys, we're gonna be casting and running here. Because again, uh, an hour and a half seems like a lot of time, but it really isn't, man. <laughs> On this pond right here, this was my favorite spot because you had this grove of trees that came around in a horseshoe and these fish would come in here and sit inside of this cove but obviously with them wiping out half the trees here that changes up the whole landscape and then the way these fish act so it's very shallow in this area now and of course you got 19,000 sticks that are in the way but we're going to try to make our way past that I might throw a couple casts right up in this area here just to see if there's anything there. The pond has gone down some, I can tell. You can see right here how far that water's going down because it usually is all the way up to here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Can we get a fish on the jointed clicker? And of course, it's all so magical when uh, you're the only one on a pond and then magically people just pop up from nowhere, guys. <laughs> la -dee -da, la -dee -da. Take more steps forward here. Oh, see that, guys? Look, he hit it a second time. He came up and got it a second. Oh, and he flipped off, guys. <laughs> Did you see that? I stopped and paused it as he hit it, and then he came back at it again. Little one, though. So now we know that they can't. They will go after that bait. We'll try it one more time. He was super close to the shoreline, right there in a tiny, tiny little point. Let's see what happens. I'm surprised he came at it a second time right off the bat. <laughs> One more. Come on, man, give me one blow up, guys. One that actually counts, not the miss that we had earlier. All right, we're gonna make our way around this guy over here, guys. We're gonna head down the shoreline here. off of the uh, where trees used to be but get up over here all right made our way around asked a quick question to the gentleman and he got one off of a senko and he was over here and he's been playing this for quite a while I don't know what kind of luck we're going to have over here, but we're going to try. Oh, 
And main thing is trying to stay away from uh, <laughs> all of this stuff right here. Ooh, that's gonna suck. All right, man, how are we gonna do this, guys? Yep, kind of figured that was gonna happen. The wind took it. So we'll, we'll try to be easy with this bait. All right, we got lucky. How about that, guys? <laughs> if you're on that branch, I'm gonna, now I've done it several times, guys, where you've seen it on our channel. If you're over the branch, don't yank up into it. You're gonna let the bait hang like this. And you're just gonna basically get the pendulum going. See how the pendulum's going right there? Just by pulling the bait and as it's swinging outwards, as it's going out this way, that's when you wanna flick. So you see the, the way it's swinging? Boom, just like that, guys. It'll flip right over the branch most of the times, guys. Well, let's get out of this cluster right here. <laughs> I kind of figured something was going to be over here. Like I said, he caught one over here. I just caught one right here. But uh, <laughs> that scared the but Jesus out of me, especially when you've been sitting here with a dry spell for quite a while in this pond today. But we've accomplished the goal of one fish. Obviously, be greedy and try to get more. But these baits... Just like the buzz bait, just like the frog. Right to your toes, guys, because you never know if they're lurking right there. That was a perfect example of a complete ambush of a bait. All right, let's move to another spot here. But, uh, we got maybe 15, 20 minutes left of light here. So we gotta make this pretty fast. We just had a swirl right here, guys. Right, right in this area here. Let's see if there's anything along this shoreline here. See that, guys? Fish on. I let him come after the second time, and it's a good one. It's definitely a good one. There you go. That's a good one, guys. That's good enough to be weighed. Possibly a three-pounder right there, guys. He blew up on it once, and you saw him come back at it again for the second time. Bam! How about that, guys? Let me let this uh, bail out. Close to three pounds, maybe. I might be over-exaggerating a little bit, guys, but <laughs> let's get this fish off of here. Definitely a decent size, so we'll check it out. <laughs> fish is definitely warm. This fish is barely hooked, too. Look, watch. One hook, guys. <laughs> but uh, let's get that hook out of there. And uh, we'll get a quick weight on that. I'd say two and a half pounds, guys. What do you think? All right. So glad that bait worked we had to literally work almost a, oh, three quarters of the way around the pond guys but i threw right along this shoreline he must have followed it right on in all right we're zeroed out there guys one more time let's hopefully it's in pounds we'll see all right there you go <laughs> we got it right this time guys almost a three pounder so two and a half pounds almost 2.42 pounds but man what a nice 
hit on that. Again, it wasn't dramatic like that one over there, but it did the same exact thing, guys. It swiped at it, came back at a second time. But I'm so happy right now. <laughs> we hit our goal of two fish. But, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this little mama going. I'm a righty, so I'll make sure this happens correct. But thank you, Mr. Bass. I appreciate you. Whoa, where are you going? Where are you going? There you go. I was disappointed on the previous part of this video right here where we were able to catch two fish. However, that first one never got recorded because I didn't have the camera on. I did catch that one at the end, which was a great looking fish, but I wanted to come out one more time on another body of water uh, and try to catch some fish uh, and see again if this bait does bring in the bass because it is a very popular bait as I mentioned uh, earlier in the episode. Unfortunately, we have a problem right now because half of this pond right now has little algae blooms on it and I've already precast it a couple times and it's not traveling very well. So I only have one half of the pond right here that has nothing going on other than that one patch that's way out there. But it looks like the wind is kind of pushing uh, this back into the back portion of this pond. So we'll wait to almost near dusk and see if that happens and continues to push it out and we'll cast in this open area if it does decide to clear up. But uh, let's get a couple casts out here, guys. Let's try to get a couple more bass and try to end this out on a, uh, again, multi-fish episode here. <laughs> but uh, we had uh, a rainstorm come through. I think it was either yesterday or the day before and that's probably half the reason why these little uh, blooms popped up. It's a pain in the butt, but uh, we'll work through it. I'm sure we'll get something happening here. Got a little uh, bluegill bed going on right here. Water clarity on this pond right here is about maybe 75%. I don't think they're gonna have a problem seeing it. It's a black bait, man. The sun's shining right down here, man. They'll be able to see that silhouette quite easily. And of course, uh, the noise from the, uh, the uh, double cup and the clattering of the rattle will bring it in too as well. This pond does have some good ones. I think the biggest one I might've gotten out of here uh, was a little over three pounds. Uh, it's not a very big pond, but again, it does produce. And it's again, the reason why I came here because I'll have the highest probability of fish potentially hitting on this bait. But again, I want you to sh see that uh, this bait does work. Look at that, see that, see that guys? See the bass chasing them along the shoreline? All right, let's start uh, working the shoreline where I saw that fish bust up at. Hopefully we can pick off one or two along the way. Again, this is the only drawback this thing has, man. I might have to go from these hooks down to a smaller hook because they tend to cross up on each other but again they, these are the stock hooks that belong to the bait itself all right nothing there Don't make me look like a fool, come on. You can see that the wind has blown a little bit and the way you can notice that is, remember the patch that was right here in the middle of the water? It's halfway down uh, that uh, channel there. So by the time we get around there, we should have a little bit more space to cast in. Uh, again, the fish do like to bang up on these uh, shorelines right here, especially on this side, on the shaded side as the sun goes down. There you go, right in the middle of nowhere, guys. Got that blow up right there in the middle. 
All right. Oh, he threw it. <laughs> you saw that, guys. <laughs> Told you they're out there. That's crazy, though, because normally I'm hitting them on the edges here with all kinds of baits, man. But out in the middle, that's few and far between. But uh, let's try that again. See if it goes back after the second time. I'm going to save you the torture. I cast it from this tree all the way around to here. Didn't get one bite except for that one way back there where I had it on there and the fish just shook off. We're going to go right over here where we saw the bass busted on this shoreline right here and around that corner. If we don't get anything, we'll head over to that other pond that I mentioned to you. All right. Can we get one off a of pond too that we can actually bring to the shore? <laughs> Oh, we finally got a fish on, guys. Finally got a fish on. All right. Oh, no, he threw it again. Are you kidding me? After all that time, guys. Wow. That's two. Two. Uh, that means I need to change these hooks. <laughs> That's insane. They're not really doing huge blow-ups on it, guys, but they're hitting it. All right, we're on the uh, second pond that I was talking about. And uh, we're not gonna stay too long on this pond right now, but uh, we do have a fair amount of light that we can use. I saw a couple kids come off here. I don't know what they were doing, but I, don't, I think they're the ones I saw around the corner a split second ago. So I don't think they've been on this pond that long. But the goal is, let's just try to get another fish, guys. <laughs> and one is actually gonna stay on a hook. The shoreline right here. I think this water right here, I'm looking at it, it's pretty low right now. But when I was over at that other pond, I saw water going into that other pond. So I think they're draining some water from this pond into that other pond. They're trying to balance them out. Because uh, this is way lower than I saw it last week. Throw a couple more shots right here and then we'll get over there into, near that dock area and over into that cove to the left of that dock. Fish just swam right away from there, guys. Ah, I spooked him. <laughs> I got caught up in all this junk that's right there beside the fish swirl. Ah. I don't care what size it is, guys. We got to get a fish on. <laughs> it was a little one that swung at it again. Finally got one on, guys. Blew up right in the middle of the pond. We finally got one. We'll hook him again. He's definitely on now. 
<laughs> That's surprising. What do we got here? All right, oh, this is a decent one, guys. Holy crap. Look at the size of this one, guys. Maybe a three pounder. Maybe a three pounder, guys. All right, look at the size of that bass, guys. The, oh, good Lord. <laughs> that bass blew up right in the middle of nowhere. We are gonna get hit by some hooks. Give me a couple seconds to get these uh, hooks out of its face. And uh, we'll get a quick weight on that, guys. But <laughs> I stuck with this bait and uh, it paid off. All right, guys. Let's try to get a good hold of this fish. Yeah, this thing's every bit of three, three pounds, guys. Man, he is not wanting to be uh, on the end of this line here, guys. But uh, thank you, Jesus. Let me try to get my fingers in there without getting all smacked up by the hooks. But yes, yes, yes. All right. <laughs> we got it, guys. <laughs> right as we're getting ready to go into dust, guys, we get a nice solid blow up right in the middle of nowhere. But uh, let's grab our scale real quick and uh, let's see if we get lucky, guys. Maybe this is a three pounder. I mean, it's got some chunk on it. We're all zeroed out here, guys. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, clamp our fish up. And we're gonna see what we got here. Can we get a three pounder on this, guys? There you go, guys. It is definitely, officially, 3.13 pounds, guys. 3.13 pounds. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to show you a, a good release, uh, you know, in the underwater and everything, because that's what I wanted to do before all the light went down. But uh, we'll give a, a good looking shot of this fish again. I am so happy. But uh, let's go ahead and give this fish a send off. I appreciate you, Bass. Mr. or Mrs., whichever you may be. Thank you very much. She's gone. <laughs> Hey, right to the last glimmer of light left in the day, guys. We were able to bring on a nice looking bass, man, on a quite unique bait. I mean, hey, thank you, Fred Arbogast, man. This is a true classic. It is a legend, guys. We didn't catch a ton of fish on it, but we did catch fish on it, and we caught some nice looking fish on it. Uh, the one on that first pond that we went to a couple days ago got almost a three pounder. Then we almost had two or three fish on the second pond. It wasn't producing the way I wanted it to. That's why I jumped onto that last one, guys. And uh, good thing I stuck out to the last minute of light there, as I told you. And we were able to get that three and a quarter pounder, guys, off of a almost 100-year-old bait. I mean, this one's not 100-year-old, but that's how long this thing has been around. These bass cannot resist the rattle, guys. They cannot resist the shake. They cannot resist the waggle, man. They beat this bait up, man, when the fish are on. So I am glad we were able to catch some fish and put something on there so you guys can watch it, but I would not consider this as a novelty, guys. I would put it in your box and consider it as a necessity. When that bait uh, that you throw out there, all of them, and you're not having any success with all of them, Throw that one out. You never know, man. I had one day where I threw five, six, seven, eight baits, and I threw that bait out there, and instantly the fish just jumped right up on that jitterbug. That is the Arbogast jointed jitterbug clicker, guys. Fairly cheap. Brought me some fish on, and hopefully you guys would have gotten excited by seeing them being reeled in and shown off. I'm gonna get out of here, guys. It's late at night. I can't wait till tomorrow. My son's finally gonna graduate high school and he's gonna be on his merry little way. Hopefully bring me more time to come out and fish. Uh, again, he's gonna be in college and uh, he's gonna be a grown adult, guys, and it'll give me more free time, obviously. I only got one more left, man, to get out of high school, but there's only a couple years left on that one, but she's not too much of a, a pain as the, uh, the boy is. But uh, hopefully you guys would've had a great day. Hopefully you caught some big fish. Like, subscribe. Push that notification bell, guys. Share this video out. Of course, don't end right here. You got videos right at the end that you can go ahead and partake in and, of course, jump into the playlist. 
I'm going up the highway. You guys have a great day. And as always, fish on.